Well, Jaden, first of all, congratulations. How does it feel to know that your future's here for another season? Yeah, well, it's good. Like, I was trying to push for it last season, kind of didn't hit the ground running like I wanted, uh, especially after that last game last week in Central Coast. Happy to find the net, uh, back the net for my first time. Obviously, I've had quite a good training session pre-season, so I'm happy to extend for another year. What do you think is achievable in the in the next two years for you and for Sydney FC? I think big things. We've got a, a small, uh, younger group now, but still a lot of old, experienced players. So we're looking forward to trying to building up some new processes and finding out where our success will come from. And it's looking good straight away. We've been scoring goals already in both pre-season and seeing Central Coast. So it's looking promising. We've got this new facility that's really good. So once everyone's around the same boat, everyone wants to be here, big professional environment. So I think it's uh, looking excited for the next two years. And you can play as a, as a winger, as we saw in Central Coast, or as a, a front through the middle striker. Yep. Um, what's your targets for the next uh, two years? I think just to get as many goal contributions as I can. I know I got my debut last season against MacArthur, I got that assist and then kind of slowed down towards the end of the season. Started off my first game this season with a goal, so if I can just start building from that, get goals assists, even if it's not a goal and assist, just being in that forward pack, try and make chances around the box and yeah, try and provide for the team. And what does it mean to you to, to, to actually get that um, deal with Sydney FC, the club that you've been involved with since a very young age coming through the academy? How, do, how much does that mean to you? Well, it's good. Like last year, obviously, I had that chance to sign my first scholarship deal, so which was good. And then just to know that the club sees me in their future and to give me my first full professional contract is uh, really humbling and it's really happy to see. And then obviously with this club, I've been supporting it for years now. I've been just from the start of the academy, I think it's my eighth year now at Sydney. So just really happy to stay at the club where I'm comfortable. And you were in the Cove back in the day. There's photos, I think, on social media of you celebrating goals, as your mum put up, I think. But um, yeah, uh, well, yeah. What does it? What does the club mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. Like obviously, I'm from from Sydney, and before the Wanderers and all, come the only club here was Sydney or Central Coast. So dad was big football fanatic. We went straight into the Cove straight away. We're on the side and. Because there was no bay closures, you could go straight into the thing. And then the Capos back in the day gave us some flags when we were young kids, they really got us involved. So that kind of just drives you wanting to support a team. And then for me to be able to get my first professional contract, like I said, this year, it's just, it's good. I finally, finally made it here after a long, I don't know, maybe 13, 13, 14 years of supporting the club. So yeah, very excited. In terms of uh, the, the next game, which is tomorrow, um, another cup game. Do you reflect a little bit on the, the goal that you scored to, to save the, the, the club in the last round or, um, or are you just thinking about the, the game tomorrow? Um, obviously you it's kind of like you stay and you, you focus on what you did, you look back at it but I think the more you get in the past and you focus on the next part of where you're working on, I think that's going to be the most key because the next game I might not but they get an exact chance. I might get the same chance where I know I can do that but I might be on the other side, you don't know where I'm going to be playing, what type of situations, it might be a one-on-one -on -one next time, you don't know. So you kind of remember what you did but then forget and focus on the next game. What about the, the, the round of 16 cup tie like at Oval, um, night time game against a, an MPL club, it's, it's going to be quite an atmosphere. Yeah it will, I know RPA just won the on the MPL over the weekend, so they'll be um, rearing to go. They've got no more games, they can really just focus on the Australia Cup now. So if they want to do well, they will. And I know they're a quality side. Um, last year they had, didn't have the best season, they were still competing, but this year they were out the front from the start. So they're going to be really competitive. I think we've got to treat them as any other team, like any other A-League team, anyone that's going to come and want to win. Because like I said, they got no more games coming, this is what they're focusing on. And if they want to do well, I, I guarantee they do, they will do well. And you think Sydney FC got a chance this year in the, in the Cup? Yeah, I do. I think with what we've been doing, we've been building after every game, after every training session, bring some new philosophies in. I think it's showing on the ground. The more games we play, we're just going to keep striving for that. Thoughts on the scoreline tomorrow? Scoreline, hopefully we get a clean sheet and a couple goals for our name. But um, as long as we get the win, I'll be happy.